Hey there everybody, Blair Chaos here once more with Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles. In the last part we had Operation Cloudburst. Successfully, uh, successfully, successfully securing Vassal. And alleviating the siege on Randgrove. In this part, we're going to do uh, Chapter 5, but in Wildwoods. Now, to start, I'm actually going to check out something. Let's get some tabs, because this is a new mission. we got to go to headquarters. Uh, every chapter always come back here. Uh, there's a point where it's something important. I can't wait. Um, so there is obviously going to be a point where I actually start falling behind in this. Um, you might see this uh, LP stop at a point just to catch up. Because I'll try and keep it up. But, you know. <clears throat> Hello again, son. Good day, good sir. I'm sorry, but I can think of no orders to teach you. My memory is failing me with age. I hope we'll meet again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is there anything new? Uh, Ellet. Always worth checking these two out. Hey! Ellet. Oh, and how about the. Nice. Smells like the individuals. Militia claim Vassal Bridge. Gallia, Gallia's Militia brings home the victory, a glory, as the first operation in what is likely a full-scale counteroffensive. The 3rd Regiment reclaimed the Great Vassal Bridge, a vital trade artery after a vital trade artery, after rousting the Empire's local defenses in the 14th. This officially frees Randgrees from the need to seal its walls. Rather than assail the Empire's bridgehead barricade, the militia opted to swim a tank across the river and attack from the rear. An unconventional strategy, to say the least. The drawbridge now opened, dumping the rest of the defensive force into the drink. The man behind this bold plan, Rocket Gunther, age 22, is none other than the son of, what, of EW1 hero Belton Gunther. The Saquon hasn't fallen far off at all. And Galley's button off, that's what we got. On the 20th, the Galleon forces in the north announced their retreat from the area. There are no details were given. The Imperial Takeover of Thousand, Keystone among the North Galleon industrial cities, is likely a chief cause. Capture Thousand, a centre for Galleon's Ragnite by steel and oil refineries, struck a massive blow to the nation's productivity. During a meeting among Gallia's army leaders, um, yeah, held the day's held the day word of Thousand's fall arrived. Lasted well into the night. No official word has yet been issued as to a specific plan for the liberation of the city. It's totally nothing gonna happen there. So we've lost uh, the north, which is actually a major industrial centre, so we're on the back front again. So come to make a donation to the Get Ellet's Name on a Book Fund? I put a club. Nothing new, okay. So yeah, back my stuff. Come back and see the writing on the wall again soon. So actually good. Let's see if we've got anyone new. Cancel. Hello, Wilkin. Oh, and there we go. Who we got then? Right, we got Walter. Walter, I think his hidden potential. Um. It's something like he doesn't like crowds, or something silly like that. And Homer, uh, masochist. He goes down single digits, he gets a massive boost to defense, or something like that. That's it, okay. Homer, I can recommend as a good engineer. Um, I can recommend him over Carl at any rate. You've taught me. Hi, Carl. And let's grab Homer. I'm Homer Perron. Here to fight together with you until this war claims my life. I never remember of Edie's attachment. Uh, Walter. Walter, I can't rec I can't recommend myself. So, There's a lot of these people I'd like to use, but I don't use. Come back anytime. Right, let's go. Uh, after that, it's the back in training room field. Let's get FMO grand. No, that's some experience to spend. That should get us a few levels. Two, two, two. two. Welcome to your work! Still flying. Train all you <laughs> Right, uh shock trooper level three is a good start. Sniper level three. Let's see what we need after that. Fight the <sighs> Trying to think what the next operation is. Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Literally. Hello. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the shock troopers. Nice. Okay. Um. Next operation, I believe. Shock troops are gonna be useful. 
Um, scouts are always useful. Top engineer, then we still got left over from that. Snipers are more expensive. And we'll ship the rest. We'll ship the rest of the lancers. Set the fours. You're bet. There we go. <laughs> Good work. Hello. Looks like that session beat a nice. Looks like that set. Nice. So let's see what we got. Uh, undodgeable shots is a very good one. Um, there's something like a, a ten percent chance that the shots you fired cannot be dodged. Literally, they just can't dodge. Evasion boost, uh, chance to get your evasion up. Uh, stealth. I forget. I think stealth is your less likely to get inception fire. Let's check that. There we go. Oh, defense is strong when hiding. Okay. Undercover fire. If you're in cover, you get a defense boost. I think it was. Attack boost. Sorry. Uh, melee skills, close quarters, you get a better attack power. First aid boost, first aid better. Uh, damage boost, literally da chance to have your damage improved. Uh, tank kills better against tanks, dodge a shot. Defense boost, says repair boost if you're repairing a, t a tank or something, get a bit of boost to that. Nest master, if you're in a nest or a higher platform of some sort, you get a bonus. Okay, so nothing too much, nothing too powerful right now. It's getting better though. We're getting some decent stuff out of this. Uh, R and D now. Uh, we've got fourteen thousand ducats to spend. Well, the tank's looking at me funny. Ooh, galleon free. If I'll give a galleon free. I like how long the battle's getting. <laughs> Just look how long the power is. Uh, new mags. New Lanka. New sniper rifle. Okay. I'll Along the barrel again. New grenades. New armor. Let's go help us out a ton. If you, uh, if you ever have to choose between combat armor and the combat suit and the blast suit, go with the combat suit. It's gonna help you out a lot more. Because blast suits are really good uh, explosives. They're really good for your lancers. That's a lot, you're gonna face a lot less tanks than you are um, infantry. Let's see what we can get. Okay, better gun. Ooh. Better gun is always a good one to get. That's gonna take up most of our funds. That's more firepower. Awesome. Some of these do get ridiculous when you get further down. That's one that makes the gun really oversized. Right, so, tread defense. Uh, these are custom thousand, I can get two of these. Okay, extra magazine. Um, it puts up the capacity for your mortar up. If you don't use the mortar, this isn't worth it at all. So I'm not going to get it. But I can recommend getting the least ring. Uh, tread defense is actually kind of decent. Oh, I'm actually going to mount these now. Because you know we've got more room than we need, and we're gonna get the radiator upgrade as well. So now we've got some good defense on this. Right, that is all the one block upgrades, and we've got a lot more to go from this. So yeah, you'll you'll see how bad this gets. I mean, it won't always be a four by three. I think you get like a four by four. I think. Let's have that a 4x5, one or two. But you do get more room. But I I don't think there's enough variation in the parts. And I don't, you know, critical defense I don't rely on. Leaf spring, um, sorry. Tread defense I don't rely on. And tread HP I don't rely on. I have literally made the whole game with just accuracy upgrades. And they are king, in my opinion. Come back again soon, bro. I mean it, man. Oh, well, Leon. Anyway, let's get into the meat of the swing, shall we? So what you came here for? The operation itself. It's not how it's today. That's because uh, new people got the hidden potential, right? So, episode one: severing supply line. Thanks in part to Squad Seven. The Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands. In part? That pushed the front line back, forcing the Empire to gather forces in central Gallia. Sweet. Does this mean we're headed that way as well? 
The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. Really? But we were just... <sighs> Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. What? The Cloden Wildwood. I was there last summer taking soil samples. Oh, you should have the region wall walking. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. It's hard to get around in there. It's called the Wildwood for a reason. What's our strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of Central Gallia. Mm-hmm. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. Precisely. The 3rd Regiment's objective is to take that base. Okay, that sounds fair. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. Dismissed. Hmm, sounds fair. Woodland combat? What a nightmare. What do you mean? The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. <laughs> This'll be our toughest operation yet. I think I'll say it. Maybe so, but deeper in the woods you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. There's one kind of insectivorous plant in Cloden called the moon dew that can suck a... All right, I get it. <laughs> you really do have a one-track mind, you know? It's welcome, I'm experience. saying nature isn't just a burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. All right. I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hopefully your plant won't have eaten it. <laughs> because this is VC1 and not VC2, um, there aren't waiver effects. So what he just said, no. It's not that bad. Anyway, move on to episode 2. Maximilian and Triumviri. Triumviri? I can't say that. Galandio. Amazing how well this holds up. Gallia's mongrels have reclaimed Vassal Bridge. Do you mind? Are the men of our defensive units cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. I hear the enemy cross the river in tanks. And whoever's leading them is no fool. Swag. On the contrary, this was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more. Peasants and barbarians. How could they be anything else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. <laughs> the issue here hey, is Gallia's resistance and how to end it. Swiftly and decisively. Exactly. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in Central Gallia. How shall we proceed? What says your grace? We will extinguish these flames. Our course is clear. The Gallian army must be crushed. We will require reinforcements. They will be sent to Central Gallia. Now then, the route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Oh, that's convenient. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir. We will head to Barius, Selvaria. Be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. The Cloden Basin supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Gallia yeah. may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, your grace. Just, um, excuse me one second, folks. Ah, 
I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, just trying to fix a few settings. Looks like the computer's complaining. Anyway, so yeah, those are enemy generals. Um, just to let you know, Maximilian uses the royal we, and that's why he's always speaking them we and us, that sort of thing. So, anyway, episode 3! Half uncovered. Let's have to close them, shall we? Yeah, oh boy. What are we doing? Remind me whose idea was it to come out here anyway? Enough with the trees already. You could say that again. Woods are so thick you can't tell up from down with these trees. Oh boy. Tell that music, something's gonna happen. Here we go. <laughs> Hey, great. What did he find? A map in the dirt? Alicia, hold on to these for me, will you? <laughs> sure, Wilkin. What are these? Some kind of nuts? No. Actually, they're long beard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! You made me hold poo? Are you crazy? Ugh. Hey, Welks. Did you find something useful? <laughs> Face. Come here. Take a look at this. Hmm. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. Animals have a natural instinct to find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass, as a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. The enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. They kind of have a different reason for finding this in the anime, and they kind of have a different reason of being down here. But I'll explain that when we get to the uh, next chapter. Anyway, episode four, countless tiny losses. And yes, there's a pig of wings. <laughs> this episode has probably the best character in the game. <laughs> la 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 I'm getting shivers from hearing that. That's really nice, Rosie. What song is that? It's so pretty. Oh, just a song I sang, back in the day. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. Uh, this is where, you know, Elliot and Bed did, so... Ha! You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to sing at a bar in my town. Still, that song was really pretty. I'd love to hear the whole thing sometime. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. There we go. We're not alone here. I'll go investigate. Put your hands in the air. Mind? Aww. It's a pig? It looks like a poor cavian piglet. What's your story? Get separated from your mom? Aww. I'll take a look further in. <sighs> well, what did you find? There must have been a skirmish here. It looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Oh. Even all the way out here, the war still claims. You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. Well, Alicia, does he want to come with us? What? Can we? We're the militia. Every Gallian has the right to join. You hear that? As of today, you're a member of Squad 7, little guy. Mike? Mike! Ah, that damn pig. I can't stop tearing up. There's so many good scenes in this game, they keep making me tear up. 
fucking hell, Rose's song didn't help. <laughs> Those of you who know this game, you know why I'm turning up at that. <laughs> but, uh, damn it. Anyway, um, so, yeah, um, just to let you know, no, we do not get a squad number. That'd be awesome, but you know. Sorry about the wrong order of the yeah, okay. So we're going to move on to the actual operation, so I'm actually going to save that here. Because if this goes wrong, I want a place to fall back to. Right, so, episode 5. Wild with Warfare Cloden. This is a fun one. I love this. This is a fun operation. Here is a brief on the task at hand. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Cloden. The enemy supply base is located at the east end of these woods, tucked behind a tight defensive line. Your squad will sweep in and attack from the west to capture it, and cut off their lifeline. I suggest you hit the base head on with the tank, while foot soldiers take the north path behind the enemy's back. Your objective is, to occupy, is the occupation of the enemy's base camp. Tread carefully. I suspect they've planted mines all across the area leading up to the base. You should be able to see them, be careful. Accidentally stepping on one will mean major damage. An engineer can dispense on a landmine by approaching it and pressing the enter button, or wherever you're going to have to, when the command appears. Also remember that a tank can roll over landmines without sustaining damage. That's another way to clear the road. Conversely, foot soldiers can walk on a large amount of tank mines unharmed, but a tank will take tread damage. I've heard word that the enemy backup is approaching even now. Get out there and claim that base fast. So... This operation's a bit finicky. Um, you got there's two. It says there's two different risks to attack, but do some exploration. You can find the third. I'm going to be using that third one as well. So this north route, I suggest you uh, avoid bringing people that have pollen allergies, like uh, I, um, like uh, uh, Rosie. There we go. Thank you. It's probably a good time to bring out all in, and we'll bring an engineer up this route. Uh, Right. Down here, I suggest you do bring another engineer. We'll bring, uh, sorry, I said Nadine, brought a Dallas, but yeah. Uh, bring Nadine. Um, Marina is very good here, despite all the other pollen. If you can keep her out of the grassy areas, she's fine. Uh, we'll bring Rosie there, and we need Largo for the extra points. We also are good because tanks here. So, uh, when we get in, I'll explain what the general just this operation is. Let's go. Now, let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. This operation isn't actually that hard. It looks it, but it's not. Also, Karma Spout me is going to get. The enemy's supply base is through these woods. Squad 7, move out! I think that's his armband flying. Yep, armband. <laughs> Every single time I see that, I'm so oh gangly arm, Marina. The tank will follow the road to the south. Team two, take the trail to the base. All right, listen up, and I'll explain. About team attacks, finally the game's used. Sometimes when units are near allies attack, these allies will join in with support and fire. Up to three units can team up, and the support fire comes at no CP cost. The units in your squad each have specific other members they like especially well. Teaming up with those units will result in an exceptionally powerful attack. Staging a team attack against crouching enemies can be a smart way to defeat them. However, bunching up with team attacks can leave your soldiers open to powerful area attacks from grenades and mortars. Know when to group up for offense and when to spread out for defense. So. This mission needs a bit of explanation, right? So, let's just... First off, this section can be claimed. As you can see from the base. There's also a base down here. There's two ways they're showing you to attack this base. There's one that goes this way, and uh, goes through here. There's the main route, and there's a third one which they haven't shown you, which goes along this way. However, this way you need an engineer to open up, or you need a grenade to open up, go up the hill, around the back here. This route is very good for launching surprise attacks on them. You can actually get around the back and probably and take well not take it uncontested, but you get an easier time. 
There's also a few complications that occur during this battle, but this one's fine. We also have an enemy medium tank. They have upgraded what their weaponry is, so we've now got we've got a doubt. Good news, however, the medium tank is a command unit. So we take that down, they lose the CP for it. Uh first things first here. I think are these guys crouching? No, so uh, we'll go up here first and we'll try and because there's stuff they haven't told you about this map. So we're going to secure the second garrison first. I'll take point, guys. I love that one. There's your first landmine. Try and avoid it. You'll hear a click if you get too close. The undercarriage is blown. Have you shot anything? Anti-tank gunnery reported on the north bank. We're in danger while it remains, Welks. We'll have to hope Team Two can take it out from behind. Oh, we can. What they've seen, which uh, unfortunately Vice hasn't seen himself, um, is this. No, he hasn't seen it. Okay. Uh, we'll grab uh, Alicia. My turn, okay? We'll hopefully show Alicia. And things seem to be going faster, that's a good sign. Oh, by the way, what this is about uh, tanks go over mines. Nope, they take, tra um, they take shred damage from light mines. Oh, enemy unit spotted! Penetrating enemy lines! Okay, good news. And tank can can't turn around. Bad news. Guy next to him. Enemy unit spotted. Right. Put this. So if you're attacking him from behind, I think we're gonna kill him. He can't. He's not gonna be able to evade. And if he does get a chance to counter fire, uh, he's gonna be less accurate. So let's kill you. Now. That's one down. That's a command point gone. Let's get that. We can't take this base yet. Would like to pull the buyers around. Yeah, that's why you can't use snipers over this end, uh, because it's just shenanigans. We can, do, we can do this, that's the best bit. But the anti tank gun will wreck your tank, so it's best to be prepared for it. Uh, I think I can actually bring. Uh, you've got Daredevil. Let's go Leave it to me! Let's try and move everyone up. We also don't get that mine diffused. Uh, mines are worth, like, I think it's one point on that five value scale, maybe I'll call it. So... It's armed. And we disarm it like this. I'm pretty sure you can't do this in real life. Use the trees for cover. They try and give advice, but none of it's any good. And let's aim. This guy, very easy to kill. You can block six headshots. Six, it's a headshot wherever you hit him. If you hit the gun, it's wherever. So. And because Alicia is a, a friend according to the scale, um, I, that's a my favorite attack. Sorry, more powerful. Attack. Okay. That's what else. Man down, everybody. Be careful. Take the camp. So, okay, North Route, you're not going to meet any tanks at all. So, that's one thing to bear in mind. Um, I think I made a mistake putting Lynn up there, but we can flip around if need be. The hunt begins. Is your arm still gangly? Yes. I really need to find out why that happens. Let's see, can we get a headshot on you? Let's try for one. Fire. Nice! One down. Sweet dreams. Nice thing we've done in taking out the lancers, but then Man again, down. half the power of uh anti tankers of the ta of, uh, tanks. So yeah, it's still wrecky shit. <sighs> There's another one, but do I feel that risky? I'll try it, and if need be I'll move the tank up. from here, if not, I'm moving up for nothing. We can hit you, but it's not going to be a kill. It's a good hit, though. Keep her in there. 
Okay, decisions, decisions. Who am I gonna move up? Probably the tank. Entering combat. I love that one. I need the others in the back now. Oh god, I haven't. I can't lose the control when I'm doing this. I'm the control mouse when I'm doing this. That's a problem. So I get the word shaking. And I actually use up eight, I use up um, action points. We'll see. Is it AP? Yeah, AP. Um, this log you can destroy with explosives, or you can throw grenades in, or for, sorry, ram the tank in, like so. Try not to let your guard down. So because we're here, I'm going to try shots. No angle. I doubt very much I can get more shot through. Yeah. All right, so the device is kind of exposed. Um, I'll make it, I'll be fine. Let's try and get uh, Rosie and Lago up. Let's try and hang behind the tank. I wish there was something that makes you a bit more AP, but I think the only way we can do that is just by getting a lighter tank, that's not until BC2. Uh, one more guy. Lago's gonna be more useful than this. Is. Sad but true. So I might be able to get a pot shot out of that medium. Now nah, I'm gonna get a shot at him. Try to act as Right. Come on, let's see what they do. Probably should move the other vice again just to try and get a better angle. But yeah. You know. Ten CP. Atlanta. Oh boy, it's gonna sting. I miss. Which damage bugger. minimal. Okay, that's gonna need to be fixed. I need to move Nadine up. I need to move Nadine up anyway. You should do it where if you don't see him, then they just there's move and yeah. Oh right, um, there's no aces here, by the way. I think there's another ace till the operation after this one. And Alicia, you're facing the entirely wrong way for that. That's a command unit. You know, dance around the base, dance around there. There we go, sis. Okay. About evasion! When being attacked, units will sometimes duck under any fire and avoid damage, we've seen several times. It's called evasion, and can be negated by attacking him from the target's rear. Attacks from behind also cause the target to panic, leading to slightly lower accuracy during the counter-attack. This is yet another reason to always guard your own back while actively trying to circle around your foes. Cross the line to fire and whatnot. We spied the anti tank gun on the hill. That's actually kind of impressive. Well, Lynn can't make it up there. I'll take care of it. I'll advise you. Just try and dodge. There's another one. There we go. Sumi is with her. Am I doing two shoes of Gallia? Sounded brutal. <laughs> nice. Yeehaw! Nice, guys. Nice. Enemy unit neutralized. So, if we want to, we can use this to flank their position. Um, it's it's generally a decent idea because then you can actually get a shot on the medium tanks rear. Uh, I've actually bugged up in that regard, so I've got to rely on a front assault. Uh, but no matter the cost. Let's go, Dean. We really should save some spaces. Uh, we can leave you in the middle while we're here. Thank you, goodness. And someone's hairband is flying. Oh, that's engineering tools. 
And time to fix my tank. The, F the can do everything tools. Thank you. There, I want to move the otherwise further up. Yeah, I don't think the biggest threat is the medium tank. Careful. So, shit, that's a landmine. Let's go sting. And I have an anti now. We're still good, we're still good. There you go. Let's get shot, actually. Someone's engine is really going wrong right now. Right, face me head on. Okay, let's try and get... Um... Ooh, my brain is probably best. Should have really taken a lance around the back. Oh, I live and learn. Ganglia! There's like, is there something entertaining about seeing that? It's just every five minutes, like, woo, wee! Yeah. It's like it's had to see me or something. Uh, no shot, no shot. Uh, never gonna dunk the front of the tank, so you're done. Um, could be a bitch. Do you actually have a screen? Shot with lager. Joker's still all right. Ah, sweet. Thanks so. Let's pop. Let's see if we can take out this tank. Take out the. I think if I fly from here, it's going to get every single tree in Christendom. So it takes four shots from the device, it takes four from you. Okay, it's roughly the same power now. Boom! That's a good shot, actually. Didn't actually expect that to hit. Alright, fire Lago once more, and the device again. If Lago hits, wait he'll here. tank this turn. Lago misses, we're in trouble. Done. Shot went low. Hey, when he does that, Let's pull you back behind the vice. Uh, I love the video chat, and I hate that I'm skipping it because that's a lot more character. This. Okay. Um. Grab you. Here we go. Slack and load. Uh, don't even forget to move you. Either. Nope. Lamp. Now. Right, next time we'll kill it. We'll keep the vice station there. Alright, next time we'll kill the tank unless he's prepared. What's my game? Jeez. Yeah, you can see the other tank gun. Which is weird because we're nowhere near it. <laughs> you just know it's there, it's psychic. Stink. Uh oh. Minor damage sustained. <sighs> 600. I can take that. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's still bad though. Oh, the thought that was going to hit someone behind him. See him cry behind him as a lance head hits him in the head. <laughs> okay. Turn three. So 
grab and Dane. No matter the cost. Thanks, Arpa. Give her a ray gun action. Let's get my. Uh, come on. Let's go through it. There we go. Come on, Bicey. Come on. Big advice. Thank you. I think it heals about a thousand of each. So yeah, it can generally you can generally overdo what they're gonna do to you. Here we go. Push up the vice again. I'm gonna drive up to one of those mines, I think. It's like arm it but don't tear it off. Keep it dancing. Grab the down. Sorry nature. Um, right. I think it's a, do you mind if I'm catching this? Aw, oh, you did. For shame. You're doing well, just keep it up. Let's go sting. Underminer fire! I guess mine's meant to track instead of explode. Okay, uh, now our front line's clear, what have we got? You crouch, you can use Mr. Yes, you are. Rosie, old dear, I've got a job for you. I think we can get into close quarters with that Lancer. Nope, we can. Oh, no, Lancer hasn't fired. Where's the dust out of you, Rosie, if you can? It's one or two. Let's take some hot shots on you. Good enough. Next to uh, next to uh, action you'll get. Right. Let's do this thing. I think I'm gonna grab a lin at this. Hi. Let's see you get sir. Um like some like some beer? Go down! Oh yeah, he's dead. He is so dead. <laughs> I think those are like three shots to hit. Man down, everybody. So we've got the gateway. If they're smart, they're gonna reinforce this side. Let's expose them from that side. Let's try and take some hot shots at scout. Ganglia! Yay! <laughs> Let's get a shot on my... Nope. Messed up. At least your company is like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just going to be on. We're fine up here. Ah, uh, nice. Leave it on to me. I can do a bit of scouting for me. So I don't want to enter the base yet. Uh, enter us down mine there. And Found a target. Oh, that's cheap. Give me a guitar. Um, say hello. <laughs> Oh, you bitch. You bitch. <laughs> One shot shy. Can't afford to move vice. I guess he's going to the fire. Um, My turn, okay? Alright, let's go this way. Try and kill. I'm gonna kill this guy, and then we're gonna try and move on. Uh, they blocked the road. We have a tank. At least there are ways them blocking the road. Ah, uh, vice old chap. You uh, yeah. yeah. Let me in on that. Ouch. A few quite shots in there. All right. Uh, what else there to do? Some more repairs. Let's try and get some combat troops up. And we can probably repair the damage the mine did. Do we have to. Made work. Besides, I want to get the Dean's thing. Can't 
kind of want to get in games in potential anyway. It's a really good one. Fixie, fixie. Thanks. So I actually do want to keep Largo around. Um, I think this way we're going to keep the line advanced too. We're going to take this base obviously, just to make sure they can't go any further. But we're going to ditch um, probably uh, Dallas and Lynn. use like, a new advance point. Actually, yeah, Dallas and Lynn, let me put a Lancer up north. Um, Lago goes on the south and attack with the tank. Yeah, that works. It's really about the same building over and over again. Put a go over there or something. Yeah, just that one thing that can solve all your problems. Right. So, Dallas. Yeah, Dallas and Lynn. Taking action now. And we'll call up new troops. Uh, move the Alevice up as well. By the way, this is the animal trail they pointed out. You notice there's no animals. And... Not very far away, eh. So it feels like a waste. Uh, we'll move the Aloe Vice a bit. Entering combat. Yeah, we're gonna break out of the pocket anyway. Break down the pocket rather. This must be, this must be scary, this watch just comes towards you. Your death is coming, gun scouts. Watch out for long distance gunfire! Hello. Okay, now you're out of the gun. What's flying over there? Okay, can we actually hit him? Might have gone a bit too close. Uh, yes, we're not a bit too close. Yes, we're very much too close. Oops. Unique situation. <laughs> Too close to the tank to hit him with the coax. What I can do is give the shock trooper a bad day. And hello, the shock trooper. Go down. Yeah, he fell down. <laughs> what about these guns? I wish they just simulate like gunfire still going on. You know? Okay, um Look at Wago with his ransom. Let's get a snide. Probably should grab Marino as well. Um we're gonna conquer that before we actually do move on. And then send Dallas and Lynn back to the roster. I actually feel like I should have fallen over them. It was like a waste of CP. Um, engineer per team might be beneficial as well. Right away. I'll pull you back. Okay, go back. Pull back, man. Pull man. And then we'll get a dark pull back. Yeah, if you could, young lady. Thank you much. Two. Okay, so we want to grab uh, Rosie to finish us off. Hopefully. Okay, we're lucky. There's a wee like a cinch. Yeah, it's a cinch. You're dead. Here I come. <laughs> I cannot be comfortable. <laughs> it looks like he's broke his spine. Huh. Nice work. Keep taking him right. down. So from 
hear me, please? Thank you. So I think from here, we will um, just hold the line by the tank. Put it in the put it in the reach of the camp. And we'll get the flanking forces going around the side. Uh, you're in range. You're in range. Good. So we don't repair anymore. Um, you need to get the way. way. Okay, go. You see this log? Uh, you can't get the advice down here, obviously, but you can get everyone else down here. So what the idea generally is. You go down here and you just go around. You can see on the map, there's actually uh, there's two ways to do this. Uh, one's on left now. But you blow that log open and you take the mountain routes. This is one that took me a couple of hopefuls to find. It's a very good route to take. And it actually gives you a good route to get out there. It's not really marked well on the map. No. There is a reason I'm doing this the way I'm doing it. Because this battle has a complication as it goes on. No, I do like laying ring around the rosy. We're heading them in tech. This thing got two. So, Dars and the Fallen Bat, that gives us room for recruitment, so we're actually going to recruit a scout, or well, let's say recruitment. I'm going to ask for a scout, I'm probably going to grab Ica. So what's your allergy? Allergy is... Pollen allergy, can't use you. You do, and we'll grab a... Um... Mind you, oh Probably send Marina back to the roster as well, but yeah. Give us a nice sound in the sun. Okay, now what's the bet? I'm actually gonna accidentally hit Nadine doing this. Please don't put yourself at risk. A bit late for that, we're in the army. Now, what's the bet? I'm gonna hit Nadine doing this. Uh, five quid? Yeah, yeah missed entirely. On both accounts. <laughs> He's like, you want me? <laughs> Just watch this. Okay. Hey. You up? And knowing that it doesn't work in reverse, I can't walk up to Nadine and get resupplied, which is kind of a shame. What a nice features to have. And the. Sometimes when you feel old age games, you Largo. Just watch this. Yeah, blow it. Come on. Alright. Can we blow it down now? There we go. Wait, well, took you a couple of times. This is actually a very fun room. I'm surprised they don't mention this more in the game. Alright, let's grab AD. And we're gonna have a resupply of Largo. I just like the attention detail here. Look, you know, Lance. And as soon as he has ammo. Lance! Yay! Just the probe, nothing down here. There's your barriers. But I am going to wait for our scout. So I think I'm going to pull Marina up to that line as well. It's going to be fun. She's back here somewhere. The hunt begins. But we're about two thirds of the way through this battle. Um, but there's still the pending complication that I keep mentioning. Wow, there's not a lot of APL snipers. I'm just so much more than that. 
Um, but yeah, there's not a lot left to this battle. Um, I'm, I'm hopefully not going to trade the complications, but you know, we'll see what happens. And that is one ganky arm. I want to know what happened there. Because it's not just me who suffers that, apparently. So last one. Now keep moving. Come on around. You haven't got your pelt, you haven't got your hazard yet. Okay, that should be that. So it's turn five, but considering how far along we are, not bad. I'll give it 20 turns anyway. Yeah, here we go. There's something like to PC2 where um, they actually give you like a pair of feet on the map. At times, like to show you how where they're moving. They kind of ruined it. They kind of made it uh, funny at the same time. Yeah. You weren't surprised because Naomi was around the corner because you see these footsteps. <laughs> but I can tell you, like Alicia and Byers are going to stay there. This says so, uh, just in case. I doubt that's a move, but then again, who knows in this game. Might need a Lancer up north, who knows. There's our scout. There's our, um, there's our engineer. Thank you. Now, admittedly, the engineer's there just as a backup plan. Just in case things do go wrong. Uh, we'll grab Freezia. Watch me dance! Hey, Homer. Go this way around. Hopefully we don't set anything off. More mines this way anyway. Let's see, let's try and clear this route out. Well, do you have a visual on that base yet? We've had a visual for a while, it's just getting in there. Please proceed with caution. We're good, we're good. At least I think we're good. Alright, halfway there, living on the prayer. It's amazing how far the scouts can move when you think about it. And that hair thing is meant to be in the hair, by the way. Right. Enemy sighted. <sighs> Can't even see what's over there anymore. Well, do you have a visual on that base yet? You know, let's just stand up and run at this guy. Sighted. It's kind of why I want to bring Marina up here to get the sniper support. Oh, easy. Ah. Thanks, Richard. That's the reason I love this route. You get behind the tank gun, and you can actually free up your aid of the device. Next partner. What's her arm? Who are these guys? Right. We're stuck. I'm the full guard. I'm gonna move in scene, but... That's kind of why I want to bring Marina down there. Okay, have they got any command units over here? Yes! Oh, hello! Didn't even know you were here. Heh. <laughs> Looks like there is an ace over here, then. So I do need to bring Marina on. Trying to resist a full scale assault. And I know that like do the Damn it. Loses HP steadily. So uh, I think I'm gonna work on taking another ace. I didn't actually know it was here. So that shows you what I know. Uh, I checked on the one for Operation Cloud Burst, so I know there's one. For and weirdly, Polynology hasn't fired up again, so... Yeah, I don't know how it works. It's something about wrestling. I don't know, it's actually affected by the terrain you're on, like... Uh, dust allergy can affect if you're on gravel, for instance. The hunt begins. Come on, really. Get out of that hill, that's all I need to do. Marina's gonna be there a while. Damn, it's home, mobile scale. 
I miss him. Oh, snipers. So used to VC2. The hunt begins. This thing is uh, Homer in a better defensive position. Alright, so let's see what we do with you next. Because I need to move Largo up, I need to move Homer into better position, and I need to move my Dean up. Yours to use. He's really freaking me out. So there. Uh, Alright. So we should be able to just ignore that front, hopefully. If things work out right. And the vice in the perfect place. Uh, if I need to have movement up, I think the most I have to worry about is. If it comes under the same, uh, same time on one turn. And I hate the way that I hate that um, lancers have more AP than snipers, despite having heavier gear. And again, it's Largo. Largo's a bro. Look at the look at the manly look at the manly hair. <laughs> and Nadine, just get in position. Do I think Marina's going to hate it up here because of a pole analogy? He's got round the big limits. Hmm, probably, could, probably should have brought Cesar, Cesar in here, but, well, Paul and Arjun is not, uh, not Paul and Arjun. Dark Sinatra is not an asshole. Alright, can't get any shots at anyone, but then we'll just hold that line. Gives us a bit of a better footing, and if they try and move that, we can get shots at them. I think, uh, Free just got some good shots. That lieutenant I'm worried about. Ah, I get it. I was meant to show you where he is. Okay. He's active enough. So where is he going exactly? Into the middle of the complex, of course. <laughs> Alright, Freeze should have a shot. Nope, not close enough. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's a good shot. Nice. Yeah, he's trying to go around him now. Yeah, those two floating things are meant to be in their hair, I think. No, no ear her earrings, sorry. Apparently, even higher elevation do more damage, by the way. So, bear that in mind. Something else I didn't know. Shall we dance? She's damn accurate, considering how far away she is. That shock tube was giving me a scare, though. Freeze you to the other side and try and get her in the room. I'm ready to go. Alright then. To the other side. Found us one! Can we hit anyone here? So someone can hit you apparently. Oh hello. It's gonna be close to the edge. I suppose we'll to... Oh, please. Just... Where are they? Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh. Let's try it. I'm gonna laugh if this works. <laughs> oh, I love doing that, it's so much fun. <laughs> Next partner! Nice one, Freeze. <laughs> oh, I love it when that happens. It's like a little bunch to get you throw a grenade down. Uh, yeah. Just soon see why I'm taking this. Um, Fucking hell, really. Just soon see why I'm taking this uh, defensive style, as it were. There you go, Paul and Isaac Yeah, I'm 
might have to do uh, some smarting on some stuff because it's already in an hour. Feels just gone over now, actually. It's over now. Come on, Renee, you make it. I've got a nice, oh, I've got a nice juicy little time for you to shoot as well. He's not going to expose himself, is he? The hunt begins. Hmm. Pause. Distracting. It'd be quick enough, it doesn't affect anything, so, yeah. Too many trees. And yeah, she might be losing HP, I don't know why she isn't. Sit here. Oh, that'd be a beautiful show if we can make it. Come on, Marina. Nice. That's nice down. So my apologies, there is nice here. Sweet dreams. Good work. That should be good. So uh get Lago up there and get Nadine to swap flanks so we can Good wait here. race the path. Won't be too much longer. We'll pull Marina off next turn. Please keep the enemy's position in mind. We are doing. We're landing on the hill. Surprise, man, it's been doing so well for us. Uh, you don't really need a grenade, but we'll give you one anyway. Right. Got that. And I think I'll enter that. Hopefully, I haven't completely messed this up. This is gonna be like a C rank? Somewhere around there? Yeah, the arm's good there. And then you get this. Gangly mess! Alright, so from that, I am actually willing to move in now. I hope I've done this right. If not, I am probably about to lose three shit. I'm ready to go! That's how this works. Nope, not the... not the that way. Uh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> so, so used to the PS3 version. There we go. Complication. I got here as soon as I could, but apparently not soon enough. Hey, Jaeger. General Jaeger, you brought reinforcements? Nope. A few, but this place is almost surrounded. We'll lose both the base and supplies if we hold here. Listen, I want you all to pack up what you can and get ready to evacuate. What will you do, General? Buy you boys some time. Just leave the enemy to me. Yes, that'll be good. General Jaeger has joined the field in his lupus. Stick it out, soldiers! There it is. 
He's also brought with him elite shock troopers. Yep. Lupus is a very heavy tank. It's also cancel command unit. You don't have to kill it to win this operation. That's just saving grace here. However, you have to kill these guys to get them out of base. These are allegedly elite shock troopers. But then again, who knows? Oh, with that entirely, jeez. Okay. Uh, I actually do want to pull back. I think that's going to be more worthwhile taking out the Lupus while we can, instead of risking all of it. This is why I brought Largo up here. There you go. That's why I brought Largo, because I can get behind the Lupus and take it out in one go. There we go. Back suit shop Lupus. Allegedly elite. And Lupus. Uh, do we have the... we have details? Notes? Nope, but there you go. This guy is a pain in the ass, I can play that for a start. It's a freak. Been waiting here. Good news is, he's not the smartest candle. Oh, no, I have the music change. Right, let's try from here, see what we can get. Come on, fly through. You're done! Yeah, good shot, but not what I was looking for. It's way faster than this. I've got the uh, scout support, I've got snipers on standby nearby. He won't be willing to take too many risks himself. This is going to be a long fire of like this. Boom! There we go. Yep. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. Looks like Golly has got some competent tank men. You are beaten by a Lancer. General Yeager, the base patrol has finished evacuating along with the supplies. All right. That means this base is just another patch of woods now. We'll thank the Gallians for this another day. Get the last of your men out. Welts, the enemy is abandoning the base. One step ahead. They timed that perfectly. I'm just glad that backup unit arrived late. Just to let you know, it doesn't matter which way you do it. All right. If you defeat Jaeger before you take the base, or you take the base before you defeat Jaeger, it doesn't matter. Honestly, it's kind of difficult to take out Jaeger normally, because uh, you don't know about that route. But there's no benefits to actually just leaving it. So it's, you know, three of one half dozen the other. I can argue either way. Watch me dance. Um, there's nothing special about the guys he brings along Time with him. Quick step. Nice. Nothing about the guys he brings along is special. So you could just kill the infantry with like a grenade or something and then take the base. Don't put at risk. This is why someone like tells me, yeah, there's actually five different things wrong with that. Yeah, that's actually a good operation. There's not a lot left. Let's just take the base now. I'm ready to go. And it's got seven scored in the victory. Hunts to my left, hunts to my right. And operation complete. <laughs> it's not a hard operation, it just requires you to think. Operation complete. We took their base. Jaeger's the biggest issue there, but still. That's a good haul. Okay, so what did we get from the ace? I think it's two. Nice. Yeah, it's an MP2. Nice. That's a very good gun to get. Okay, so let's finish this up with episode 6, taking the supply base.
Well done, soldiers. The operation was a success. Another victory for Welkin Gunther! Nope, not this time. All the glory goes to this little guy. Mine? <laughs> Way to go, Hans. First day on the job and you're already a hero. <laughs> Our success today was thanks to the animals living in these woods. Mike, Mike. <laughs> so, uh, who named the bacon Hans? Captain Varat, <laughs> I'd like to introduce Squad 7's newest addition, Hans. I just remember the fucking anime. So cute in that. Hans, I hear you performed admirably today. I expect great things from you. Dismissed. My Eric! <laughs> oh god, the mascot characters. The mascot characters. <sighs> Chapter 6. A Desert Encounter. Oh, god. Okay, so... Yeah... Hans is a Porcavian. And um, Porcavians are kind of weird. No problem. Kind of odd in the BC verse. Uh, hang on, let's pull them up. Uh, is it glossary or is it personnel I'm looking for? Porcavians. Porcavians, there we go. Yeah. Okay. The wi just long story short, the wings aren't actually wings, they're just meat, I guess. Um. Yeah, they're actually. This is the mascot character of VC. I'm not even kidding. But I will be honest, the yeah, anime makes them really cute. So I actually do like them. Hans is a very good character, as Hans has said. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's it for this episode of the Kiri Chronicles. Um, I hope to see you next time for Chapter 6 of Desert Encounter. I have been the Blood of Chaos, and as always, folks, take care on those battlefields. See you next time.